We are back, set for the opening kickoff here at Harding Stadium. Big Red. To our right, red jerseys and black pants. To our left, Marlington. The white jerseys and black pants with the orange numbers. It is the Wintersville Trophy Shop kickoff. Dwight Macon will boot it away for the red. Back deep, freshman speedster DeMonte Thomas and Jake Krupko for the Dukes of Alliance Marlington. We're set to get the Ohio playoffs underway. This is Ohio Division Three Region 11. The winner of this matchup will play the winner of the Salem at Granville game tonight. In the other half of the bracket, Buckeye Local hosts Canal Fort Northwest, and Harrison Central is on the road at Dover. Ohio High School football ready to kick it off here tonight. Dwight Macon has booted a lot into the end zone this year. This one, though, will be fielded at the 10. Krupko to the 20, gets upended at the 23-yard line. Good coverage for the red. Jordan Meyer with the tackle. Also, Jonathan Littlejohn down there for Big Red. Marlington tonight will not have their starting quarterback. Tyler Royer injured, will not play tonight. We can see Jesse Carpenter. He is number 19, and Jacob Ray, number 12, is another possibility at quarterback. They run the ball, they run it well, they run it quite often. The option attack out of the gun. First man through, that takes the handoff. First stop for the red is Jordan Banks flying through to make that tackle. Big Red's defense, very aggressive, very quick on. You see, uh, you know, they're not going to play straight up. They're always angling one way or the other. Uh, you know, a very, very aggressive defense. They get in your face, uh, do a great job of controlling their gaps, and uh, linebackers also do a good job. Those four down linemen, though, protect the linebackers to let them make their tackles. Carpenter with a handoff. Short pickup by Aiden Hill off the top side. You see... The Marlington offensive starters scrolling across the bottom of the screen. The Big Red defensive starters will be there as well. Good sides up front led by the Higginses. Zach Higgins is 6'5", 275. He's a right tackle. Chris Higgins, 6'3", 260, the center. And Casey Higgins, he goes 5'9", 200. He's the left guard. Third and five. Okay. A team cannot be one-dimensional against Big Red. You've got to have somebody that can throw the ball. Well, Carpenter puts it up incomplete, trying to get it out to Aiden Hill. And it will be a three and out and a punting situation for Marlington. Excellent coverage by the corner linebacker that time, number 23, Shaquille Petaway. Uh, had the receiver coming out uh, into the flat. Uh, good coverage. The ball was overthrown. It's three and out on Marlington's first possession. Austin Webb will punt it away. Isaiah Willis, excellent speed here on the bottom. As an edge rusher for the red. Caleb Westlake back, here comes Willis. Out of a line drive kick as the punter slipped. Westlake makes one man miss and gets popped at the 50 yard line. Hill betting head on. An excellent field position for Big Red's first offensive possession of the night. Of course, the man that makes it all go is quarterback Dwight Macon and injured earlier in the year in the Woodland Hills game. Missed a couple of games where we saw the depth of this team with Jordan Meyer and Anthony Pirro stepped into that quarterback uh, spot replacing Macon. But Dwight is back and he's 100% and he's the man that makes things go for the red. Dwight will start out of the gun. Meyer in motion, top side. Macon rolling, firing. Trey Wiggins, a five yard gain on first down. Not anything real fancy. Three receivers out that way. One going deep, one going uh, medium, and one going a little bit shorter. The uh, motion man, Jordan Meyer, was the uh, short receiver. And uh, Macon found an open receiver, got him the ball, pick up of six, second and four. There's a look at the Big Red starters at the bottom of the screen. That will be followed by the Marlington defense. Jojo Piro, though, with the start at running back, he'll be the sidecar to Macon. Sage Kutri in motion. Macon swings it this way to Wiggins. And Wiggins down to the 36-yard line. He'll have a Stephenville Big Red first down. 
but uh, I like the rhythm that Big Red gets into right away. They don't waste any time. They don't look to the sidelines for the play. Uh, they, they huddle, they call the play, they get up to the line of scrimmage, they run the play, and uh, they try to play as up-tempo as they possibly can. Three receivers top side, one to the bottom. Capital recovery systems first down. Macon, little bubble screen top side, Jordan Meyer. Meyer, pickup of eight, down to the 28 yard line. I tell you right now, Dwight Macon has completed three passes to three different receivers, Don. He gets everybody involved, he spreads the ball around. You can see it right here, it's a quick bubble screen. Good block as you can see out there on the perimeter by number five, that's Trey Wiggins. Enables Meyer to pick up a couple more yards. Short of the first down, however, but a pickup of eight, second and two. High formation, JoJo Piro behind the fullback, Danny Bain. And you've got a flag. Dead ball, encroachment on the defense, first down. Offsides, the call against Marlington. And Big Red earning enough on their own. Marlington can't afford to give them any free yards. Make it. Down the sideline. Piro incomplete. In and out of the hands of Anthony Piro. I'll tell you, he had uh, Alvin Taylor open going down the middle of the field. Take a look at it here. Just a little play action. Excellent protection. The ball is thrown up. Just a little overthrown. I'm sorry, that wasn't number 14 open down the middle. I was 44. Danny Bain open right down the middle of the field. Timeout. Call by Marlington. And we'll take one as well. When we come back, Big Red facing a second and 10 on the Marlington 24. Big Red and Marlington, Ohio Division Three, Region 11, quarterfinal round matchup. Second and 10 for the Red on the 24 of Marlington. Trey Wiggins takes the handoff, cuts it inside, and Wiggins down to the 18-yard line. Nice pickup on the second down carry. Big Red has run eight plays, Don, since they got possession of the ball around midfield. That's the first running play that they've had. And out of eight plays, they've had eight different formations. Good job by number 44. That's uh, Austin Webb from Marlington. He did a good job of playing off the block and making the tackle after a gain of about five. It'll be second and five. I'm sorry, third and five. So here's the third down play. Bunch to the right side. Will make it run that way? Yes, he does. And string it out nicely. Macon's going to be just short, I think. Knocked out of bounds, just shy of the sticks. Delshawn Woods over there with a lead block. We'll see where they spot it. Take a look at it. You can see how many people coming here around the perimeter and you know, so many red shirts. Bacon got shaken up a little bit on that, uh, that tackle on the sideline. I think he might have got caught under the fence over there. I've seen that happen a couple of times. It looked like he ran into somebody, uh, a ball boy or somebody over there. Looks like he's going to come out for a while and uh, number seven, Joe uh, Anthony Piro will go in probably at the quarterback position. So this will make it fourth and short. Officials talking something over. LaShawn Luke in at fullback. JoJo Piro, your tailback. Danny Bain coming in motion near side, double tights, and here's Piro. He's got the first down and more down to the six yard line. Excellent job by the left side of that offensive line for, for Stuville. That's uh, 
Jay Clint, Jordan Banks over there, Jamie Duvall. You can see number 50 pulling around uh, on that play as well, doing a great job of getting a hat on the hat. Uh, that was number 50, Delshawn Woods. And it's a Capital Recovery Services Incorporated first down. Stack eye, Jojo Piro. Inside the five to the four. Bring up second and goal for the red. It's really a nice drive by, by Steubenville. They're taking time off the clock. They're being very methodical, mixing the run with the pass very, very well now that they're down here in the red zone. And that's the uh, Hollywood City Center red zone. They're uh, going to uh, probably rely on the run a little bit more, but you never can tell with Dwight Bacon at quarterback. Second and goal, Shaq Petaway. And at tail, here comes Bacon. Behind the lead block, touchdown, Big Red. Dwight Bacon, a five-yard touchdown run, and Big Red gets on the board first. Okay, nice job by Danny Bain. Also got out there uh, on the corner, was able to throw a key block and was able to give uh, Dwight Macon the opportunity to get into the end zone. Here it is here. You also see number 33 doing a good job there. That's LaShawn Luke. Great blocking by that uh, big red offensive line and backs as well. Anthony Pirro, and it's up. And it is good. So Big Red gets on the board first. They lead it 7-0. We have 7.06 to go in the first quarter here at Harding Stadium. Make it a high kick. Field it. The 10. Trying to get outside. And they get to the 26-yard line. Demonte Thomas, the freshman, on the return. Caleb Westlake down there making the tackle for the Big Red. Uh, good job by uh, Big Red special teams. College football tomorrow here on WVU, on WTOV9. It is WVU, the Mountaineers taking on the Cardinals of Louisville. Kickoff set for noon tomorrow. You can see the game live right here. And the Mountaineers looking to get back in the win column after the loss against South Florida. Marlington, second possession of the game. First and 10 under on 26. And Caleb Westlake with the penetration for the red. Also in there was Jamie Duvall. And Thomas with that carry. Very, very hard run against this big red defense, Don. Uh, you know, you've, you've got to be able to mix the run and the pass. You've got to be very, very balanced. Uh, if you're going to be one dimensional, it's going to be very difficult to beat this team. You know, we're looking uh, you know, at a team that plays pretty much a 4-3 defense, but those front four are very, very good. Second and eight, man goes in motion. Jake Krupko top side, looking to put it up. It is Carpenter. He unloads it, and it is caught, completed to Billy Arnold. Very short gain. It's going to bring up third and probably about four. Just a real quick pass to the outside. Uh, out pattern, but you know, pretty pretty well thrown ball, thrown in right where uh, you know the receiver had an opportunity to catch it. Jesse Carpenter is only a sophomore, 5'9", 180, and uh, this team does not throw the ball very very much. Third and three, as we mentioned, their starting quarterback out tonight, so Carpenter with the start and going to be short. A couple yards of the pickup by Demonte Thomas, so bring up fourth and short. Defensive end uh, John Elder did a good job along with Jordan Banks along that defensive front. Was able to hold that to a very short gain. And on uh, Marlington's second possession, they're going to have to punt the ball away again. Austin Webb on the punt it. Now he slipped on his first punt. It was kind of a line drive kick. Westlake back on his own 35. Westlake fields the punt and gets hit immediately and the flag fly. Well, didn't give him enough room to catch the football. Uh, that will probably be the call. Receiving team 
block in the back, first down. Blocked in the back, but big red. Yeah, it'll be a 10-yard penalty on the red. They'll take it back 10, put it inside the 25-yard line. It's a real important uh, defensive series for uh, Lions Smarlington. They're going to have to, uh, to force Big Red into a punting situation, try to get a turnover. If they get down by two scores, uh, it's going to be really difficult for them to, uh, to get back in this ball game based on their, uh, their offensive philosophy. First and 10 Big Red on their own, 24, Macon. Outlet is Danny Bain, and did he make the catch? He did, but not for much, uh, three or four yards to bring up second down. A little play action pass with uh, with the action going away and then making uh, bootlegging back to the uh, to the right side. Here it is right here. You can see Danny Bain getting out into the flat. And boy, that, that pattern is constantly open for Big Red. It's very, very difficult for teams to defend. Second and six in the 28, Wiggins and Piro split to the bottom. Kutri goes in motion, top side. And we've got whistles are blowing everywhere. We have a flag thrown by the uh, head linesman. Procedure on Big Red. Dead ball, ball, false start on the offense. Second down. The one thing that uh, Coach Sakoc has preached really all year to his kids are, are penalties. You know, don't make any mental mistakes. Listen for the snap count. You know, don't go in motion. That's the first penalty of the game for them. So, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, from Coach Sakoc's perspective, there won't be too many of those through the course of the game. So, second and 11, Big Red on its own 23. P. Rowe, the sidecar to make it. Meyer and Westlake split near side. Wiggins top side. And they get it to Anthony Piro. He's shipping, he's close, maybe just short of the first down. Just a little hook pattern by uh, by Piro, the inside receiver, running a flat route, and then him hooking uh, back to the inside, doing a good job. Watch the ball come out of uh, Bacon's hands. Very, very quick, real quick release. He gets it to he gets it to the receiver before the defender has an opportunity to react to coverage. Third and one. Dominic Gary in motion. Jojo Piro. First down, Big Red, out to the 36-yard line. It's really, the first quarter is flying by. Uh, only three, about three minutes left to go in the first quarter. See Big Red attempts to put it up here on first down. It's an open backfield. They have a bunch left and twins right. Making in that gun with the bunch to the bottom. Last time he ran into it, he does the same thing. Delshawn Woods with the lead block. Making out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Not a bad job that time by the Marlington defense. and did a good job of flowing to the play, playing off blocks. They had good outside leverage on, on Making that time. Uh, but he still was able to gain about uh, five or six yards. So it's going to bring up second and four at uh, their own 37-yard line. I'm sorry, their own 42-yard line. Anthony P. Roche split top side. Double tight, I set. It's Gary coming in motion down to the bottom. Macon down the middle, the seam, and it's caught by Sage Kutri at the 40. I call it the 42, but a first down for Big Red. And that is a Capital Recovery Services Incorporated first down. Well, Ted, this is a great catch by Sage Kutri. He was lined up as the tight end. He had to really stretch out for that ball, made an excellent uh, attempt at it, and then an excellent catch. That's well for first down, moving the ball into Marlington's territory at about their 42-yard line. Nice look from our end zone camera, high up in the end zone. Thanks to Athletic Director Fred Hetherington for his assistance and putting the camera up in the end zone tonight. Excellent look as you saw the uh, great catch from that angle by Kutry. Another completion, this one to Caleb Westlake. And I like Big Red's philosophy of uh, you know, short to intermediate passing game. And uh, you know they'll take the deep ball if, uh, if it's there. But, uh, but mostly, you know, they're looking for seams. They're looking for one-on-one. -on -one. 
trying to get matchups as much as they can. Now they've got uh, the inside receiver up to the twin side. Very possibly going to be open. That's where they Take go. Take it to Wiggins. First down and more down the sideline. Out of bounds. Down near the goal line. You know, that's just like a running play on. You know, it's a short, short pass. It's thrown about one or two yards upfield. But you, 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 you get your guy in space where he has an opportunity to do something. And look at the block by number seven, Piro. Uh, what a great job he did. And that block is what really sprang Wiggins down inside the five-yard line, which will give them a first and goal at the four-yard line. Great philosophy offensively against this Marlington team. Shaq Petaway in at tailback. LaShawn Luke, your fullback. Double tight. Luke to the goal line. No signal. <laughs> Sean Luke just on a fullback dive. Picks up about three. It's going to bring up second and one from the one. <laughs> Jojo Piro in at the tail now. Luke is still your fullback. Danny Bain in motion. LaShawn Luke up and over. Touchdown, Big Red. Great job by the offensive line, especially the left side of that Big Red offensive line. They did a good job of uh, just burying those, uh, those defenders from, uh, from Arlington. And Luke is able to go over the top for the score on the Doan replay. Luke, a 5'9 sophomore, puts it into the end zone for the red. Anthony Piro on to attempt the extra point. Caleb Westlake with the hold. And the kick is no good. We'll take a timeout. Big Red with 104 to go in the first quarter. They lead it 13 0 here at Harding Stadium. And we are back at Harding Stadium. Vapor Jet scoreboard. Big Red leads Marlington 13 0. And so far, Coach Walensky, it's been two three and outs for Marlington and two long, uh, time consuming, ground chewing drives for the Red. And uh, mixed in very, very well with the pass as well, Don. So they've got a good balance so far. Wintersville Trophy Shop kickoff. Feel it back at the two. And Alvin Taylor and LaShawn Luke with the tackle at the 26 yard line. Yeah, they mixed it up very well and they, they chewed up the yardage. They took their time. Uh, the, the long play was the pass to Wiggins that went, uh, what, over 30 yards. But other than that, it was. Short pickup, short pickup, short pickup. And that, of course, the, you know, that uh, that particular pass to Wiggins, uh, Don, was uh, was a very short pass. It was like a little bubble screen out there to him. Uh, and, uh, you know, once you get him in space and you give him an opportunity to run, you know, it's just like handing him the ball as a running back and giving him the opportunity to get as many yards as he can. And you're already there. It's giving your speech to the ball on the perimeter. First down. Off the top side, first down and more for Thomas, and you see his speed. And on the year, Thomas 617 yards and seven touchdowns. So nice. Aiden Hill leads Marlington. He's only a freshman. With, with, Hill leads Marlington on the year with 1,100 yards. Yeah, that's how he was lined up. It's like the Wildcat. Uh, you know, they they put a running back, and uh, he takes the direct snap and uh, sort of that zone read type uh, type offense, but that was a run to him all the way, and that's where he is right now. So Thomas remains in the Wildcat, and a mix up with a handoff, and Dominic Gary coming in with the stop for the red. But you, you kind of expect to see this a little bit with their starting quarterback out. It puts the ball in the hands of their playmakers more often. But do you see the mix up? Oh my, 85 in, in there in, in a shot. That's Dominic Gary, 6'185 defensive end, did a good job of uh, coming off his block and uh, beating his blocker and, and getting there very, very quickly. And the first quarter comes to a close. Big Red in command, 13 0 your score. And 
and we're back. Big Red leads at 13-0 on the Vapor Jet scoreboard. Let's go to the sidelines and Jackie Kane. Thanks, Don. I have an injury update for you now. I was just talking to Jesse Burden on the sideline here. He's number 22, plays linebacker and running back. This team has really been missing him. He's been out for a while now, suffering from turf toe. He tells me it's been miserable. That's an injury to the ball of your feet. I saw him limping around the sidelines here tonight. But he tells me he will be back in the game next week. Back up to you guys. And thanks a lot, Jackie. And good penetration by the Big Red defense, Shaq Petaway, tripping up the ball carrier. Has Shaquille Pittaway, a corner linebacker, uh, did a good job. He got upfield. Uh, they had the quarterback covered, they had the pitch man covered. Uh, very, very short gain. It's going to be third and 17. And this is this is a particular down and distance that uh, the coach Miley from uh, Marlington doesn't want to be in because they don't throw the ball extremely well. Carpenter swings it out of the backfield and Shaq Penaway stops him and LaShawn Luke cleans him up. Good job defensively for the Red. That will force another punting situation. But Marlington though, on this drive did pick up their first first down of the game. They're a little hold there at the top of the screen but uh, doesn't matter. Good, uh, good open field tackle by Shaquille Penaway. Number 23, the corner linebacker for Big Red. Good pressure for Big Red, but they get the punt away. Here's Caleb Westlake. And good special teams play by Dakota Hoffman. Following the WVU Louisville game tomorrow at noon, we will join the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame in progress at 3.30 Notre Dame taking on Navy. Notre Dame Navy tomorrow here on WTOB 9, big day of college football. So Big Red takes over first and 10 on its own 37. Their third possession of the night. Wiggins split to the bottom, P. Rowe to the top. Wiggins will go in motion to that top side. JoJo P. Rowe straight up the middle and P. Rowe! Like a bowling ball. Okay. Into Wellington territory at the 49 yard line. Does a nice job of getting under the pads of that defensive back and uh, he runs so low to the ground, he's not very tall. He's only about five foot nine, but watch him get underneath that safety, boom. Well, I'll tell Picks you. up another four or five yards. They pulled Mason Campbell, number 77, and boy, did he part the seas. First and 10 on the 49. Wiggins, top side. There he's got five, reverses his field. He keeps going. He's going to be about a yard short, but nine yards on the first down for Trey Wiggins. Well, Ted, there's... Uh, there's no, no equalizer to speed, and, uh, and Steubenville Big Red has so much of that speed. Here it is right here. You're going to see a handoff from uh, Macon to, to Wiggins, and you can see that everybody has a hat on a hat. Good block by number 12, Jordan Meyer. He stayed with his uh, defender, and uh, Wiggins just read his block, cut it back inside for a couple extra yards. Second and two. And Big Red's going to be backed up five as they moved. Legal procedure on the red. Dead ball, false start on the offense, second down. This is the tailback moved a little bit uh, prior to the start uh, of the play, so it's going to cost him five. Bring up second and about six. Make it in the gun. P. Rowe will be the sidecar. Wiggins and P. Rowe split near side. Well, JoJo, P. Rowe goes to the top side of Macon. Big Red going to put it up. Macon down the seam. Ooh. Dominic Gary incomplete. It's a tight end trying to get into the seam. And uh, it's open uh, briefly. But uh, just not able to get him the ball. But a good decision on the part of uh, Bacon. He read the defense fairly well, saw the opening, just could not get him the ball. Every time they run that, I think of the game with uh, Aurora when Anthony Gossett just <laughs> earned a living on that route. 
couple of touchdowns. Mo Bogart didn't have a bad game that night either. I think he had three touchdowns. Third and seven. Meyer in motion. Macon rolls this way. He's got Meyer. To and the 36 the and on the first down for the red. That is a capital recovery systems and capital recovery services incorporated. First down. Okay, very uh, very well conceived play. Meyer came in motion from Quinton's uh, set to the left. Uh, the two receivers to the right pushed off. He came underneath that. The ball was delivered on time. Gave him an opportunity to get turned upfield for the first down. And the ball spotted at the 36. Wiggins and Piro top side. Jojo Piro the sidecar. Sage Kutry comes in motion down to the bottom of the screen, making a little bubble. Top side to Jojo Piro. Flag down. And Jojo gets to the 28 yard line. I think this is going to come back. Flag thrown by the uh, head linesman on the other side of the field. And uh, he'll be talking to the referee. We'll see what the uh, signal is going to be. Procedure on the offense. They only have six men on the line of scrimmage. Repeat first down. I don't know. <laughs> so that'll back Big Red up. Make it first and 15. The ball in the Marlington 41. Isaiah Willis now in offensively for the red. And he'll split near side. Wiggins will go up top. He run that punch to the top. See if Macon keeps it. No, looking to throw back to Willis. And Isaiah Willis makes the catch. No, no he's out of bounds. Out. And he made the catch. Good call. Good call by the official to win. He went up to get the ball when he came down. His foot came down out of bounds. And uh, you only have to have one foot in, but uh, his first one came out of bounds, so uh, that's an incomplete pass. Good job by Macon uh, avoiding the sack. Had a couple guys had a beat on him, but he was able to escape and get, get rid of the ball. Here it is right here, uh, Don, you're going to be able to see. There's the receiver right there. Good catch. Watch his foot. Yep. Yep. Coming out of the replay, it is Jojo Piro, and he should have the first down down to the 25-yard line. Keep looking for the pass, and all of a sudden, boom, here comes the run. And you know, once Pivo gets to the uh, to the second level, he's really difficult to bring down. So it's another Capital Recovery Services Incorporated first down at the 25. Hero behind Bain in that eye. And Piro gets hit that time at the line of scrimmage. I think that was Casey Higgins, number 56, on the tackle. Did a good job of coming off his block and getting to Piro before he's able to get started. Held a short gain of one, so it'll bring up second and nine. Higgins, nice size, 5'9", 200. He's able to get underneath some of those guys at times and you know, was able to get into the gap and get to Piro before he's able to get started. Second and nine on the Marlington 24. Passing situation for the red. Piro will be the sidecar with Macon. They've got Wiggins and Anthony Piro topside. Timeout on the field called by Big Red. 6.48 to go in the half. Big Red in command, leading 13-0. Back at the Harding Stadium, Vapor Jet scoreboard. Big Red leading Marlington 13 0. They have a first and 10 at the Marlington 25. Mm -hmm. 
flag on the play. And looks like Big Red moved. That was kind of odd Dead because ball, everybody started the offense. Second down. Before they even threw the flag. Yeah, I, you know, they're, they're, they're looking over to the sideline to get the call from the sideline when they see uh, the defense that uh, Arlington is in. So uh, they're changing the play, and somebody moved prior to the prior to the snap of the ball that time. Now it is second and 14. Here comes Trey Wiggins. Anthony Piro. There's a flag, and that's going to be a late hit against Marlington. So that's going to that's going to be a 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, Don. Again, a quick pass out to uh, to Piro. Uh, Wiggins coming across the formation uh, as a blocker for him, but he got upfield, got tackled, and somebody came in with a late hit. Dead ball, personal foul, illegal helmet contact, first down, half the distance. Helmet to helmet contact. We're going to take a look at it, see if we can see it. Here's a real quick pass to Piro right here. He's one on one. He's down. Boom. There's there's the hit. Another nice drive going here by uh, Big Red. Uh, They've been, they've been hurt a little bit by penalties here and there, but they've been able to move the sticks, and now they're down inside the 20 of Marlington. First and 10 at the 11, Jojo Piro. And Marlington, a couple defenders there to meet him. Harrison Dickerhoof leading the way, 6'2", 250. Senior, doing a good job getting through that gap and getting uh, the Piro before he can get to that uh, next level. Yeah, there's some size in that uh, defensive line for Marlington on. Uh, you know, there's uh, defensive end, uh, but the tackles are 250. Defensive end is 150. Strong tackle is 290. So they've got some size. They're in a 3-5 defense. Second and 11 at the 12. Jojo Piro picks his way down to the 6. Whether they run that play out of the eye or if they run it out of the, uh, the shotgun, uh, blocking is still the same. And if they just tweak it a little bit, you can see the backside guard and backside tackle pulling a nice block, as you can see there by number 64, Willie Pruitt. Third and four for the Red on the six. Macon keeps it. Touchdown, Big Red. Dwight Macon from six yards out, makes it 19 nothing Big Red. That's such a hard play to stop, Don, because uh, Big Red gets so many blockers on the perimeter, and, it's, and with the speed that they have, it's hard for the defense to get caught up to that with everybody coming around. Look at all the red shirts over there. And Macon takes it in very easily. Number 50 coming around, there's number five. Number 12 also was in there, Jordan Meyer. and. Uh, Key block there thrown by Delshawn Woods, number 50. Here's a look at it from the end zone cam. Delshawn Woods paving away, making. Goes in. Anthony Piro nailed the first point after, missed the second one. We'll see what happens on this attempt. Snap, placement, kick. And it's good. Almost blocked, but uh, got it out, to, got it up there, and got it through for the extra point. Big Red leads 20 nothing. The winner of this game takes on the winner of Salem and Granville next week. And it's into the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Defensive player of the year, a offensive lineman of the year, and a player of the year this year. First down carry, gain of four. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good surge that time by uh, Marlington's offensive line is able to get it up there, close to a five-yard gain. Uh, so it'll bring up second and five uh, for Marlington. 
beginning their uh, fourth possession of this uh, first half. They've been having some problems, uh, you know, moving the football against Big Red's defense, uh, but that's not unusual. A lot of teams have problems over the course of the year moving the ball against Big Red's defense. Gain of four, makes it second and six. The Wildcat formation once again, and Thomas gets snowed under. LaShawn Luke, Jordan Banks and company leading that charge. Uh, I tell you, Don, number 23 did a great job at Shaquille Pettaway, corner linebacker. Read that play all the way, was able to come up, force him back to the inside. When he tried to bounce it outside, he was right there to make the, uh, make the initial hit. Number 51 having a good game. That's Jordan Banks for uh, for Steubenville High School for Big Red. One of those defensive tackles. Third and 10 on the 20. And Shaq Petaway levels him. Caleb Westlake held up the running back and Shaq Petaway finished him off. 52, Jamie Duvall did a great job. Watch him come, come from the inside right there. Number 67 is the first one uh, to get him coming very hard off the, uh, uh, the, the edge. That was John Elder. A great defensive play by Big Red on that series. Another three and out for Marlington. Here's the Marlington punt. Caleb Westlake's going to let it roll. And Big Red will take over on its own 43-yard line. They lead it 20 to nothing with 2.54 to go in the half. And we're back, Big Red, first and 10. On its own 42-yard line, trips down to the bottom. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Macon try to go deep on his first down. And he's going to be brought down in the backfield. Marlington coming up with its first sack of the night. And leading that charge was Casey Higgins. Tess Marlington team may have been outscored, but uh, you know they're really still playing very, very hard. Uh, you know, trying to get to Macon as much as they possibly can. Uh, I think we have a timeout on the field, uh, Don, so uh, I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to see who took it. Big Red took the timeout with 2.54 left to go. They have one timeout left. JoJo Piro, the sidecar. They flood this side. Throwback screen. Bain can't uh, hang on to it. I tell you, he had three blockers out there in front of him that was set up really well. That's a play that they ran earlier in, uh, in their last possession where they brought Meyer in motion across the, uh, the formation, sending him out flat. But this time they went back to the short side. Here it is right here. Oh, just uh, are able to handle it. You can see all the green that he had right there too, Don. That might, was that Bain or Kutry? Was it 44 or 84? It was 44. Bain. Macon keeps it. Somehow gets away from a tackler. Can he outrun this one? He does. Ah, he gets tripped up, but he gets to the 43, 44-yard line. There it is here. It's the, uh, the fake. And then the keep off of that. Breaks the tackle right there, runs on three. But uh, Marlington got him running uh, east and west instead of north and south, able to trip him up short of the first down marker. It's fourth and uh, about seven. And it looks like Big Red's going to go for it. Have a lot of faith in their defense. Trips top side. Make it Caleb Westlake. Incomplete. We'll take a timeout. 2.22 to go in the half. Big Red leads Marlington 20 to nothing. <laughs> WTO9 High School Football Game of the Week brought to you in part by Ohio Valley Honda, West Liberty University, and United Dairy.
First and 10, Marlington to the big red 45. Toss, drop side to DeMonte Thomas, flag and it's coming back. Gets down to the six yard line. I tell you, that's the best positive play that uh, Marlington has had this evening. And uh, there's a flag down on about the uh, 44 yard line. Or maybe it isn't. Right? Nobody's saying anything, but there's something yellow laying down there. Well, <laughs> somebody lost their flag. Evidently. So first and goal to go on the big red eight yard line. And uh, we see why DeMonte Thomas is their leading rusher. He's got great speed once he is able to get that handoff. And Hill goes into the end zone for a Marlington touchdown. Wow. That's got to be a lift to Marlington. They did a great job in two plays and were able to take it about 45 yards in for the score. And uh, it's got to be, be making them, it's got to make them feel pretty good right now. That time it's handoff to the fullback. Thomas coming in motion and a good block downfield by the wideout for, for Marlington. I'll tell you, good blocking by the wideouts on both of these teams so far. And number 30. Dances it in, that's Alden Hill. And the extra point is blocked by LaShawn Luke. That was a line drive. Yes, it was. Number 33 came through there. Maybe they clean. can. That was LaShawn Luke. And maybe somebody can pick up the flag back at the 44 yard line as it still lays there. We'll be back. 154 to go, the half. 20 to 6. Big red over Marlington. And Marlington just putting a touchdown on the board on a run by Alden Hill. It's the Wintersville Trophy Shop kickoff. A bouncing kick fielded by Trey Wiggins. Whoa! And he gets leveled at the 19-yard line, making that stop Brandon Maley. And I tell you, number 50, Corbin Koblenz was also in there on that hit as well. See it on a Don uh, Ford replay. This is Wiggins coming up. Uh, boom. Good shot, number 50. Good open field tackle. Great job by Marlington's special teams unit. First and 10, Big Red on its own 25. Wiggins in motion. Making, looking. Anthony Piro with the catch, spins. And. He should have a first down. Oh, uh, if he's over the 35-yard uh, line, it should be a first down. Yeah. And the official is signaling a first down. And that is a Capital Recovery Services Incorporated first down for the Red. Big Red has 143 left uh, before the half, and they also have one timeout left. Piro and Wiggins top side, make it in the gun. Jojo Piro the sidecar. Here comes Sage Kutri in motion. Macon. It's the keep. Macon shaking, bacon, making people nice miss. Block. Great block by Piro. And he's going to be a yard short of the first down. But the important thing is, Don, is that he got out of bounds. He stopped the clock. They don't have to use the timeout. They still have 131 left. I don't know if you can see this, but Jojo Piro making comes back, lays him out, lays out a Marlington defender. This was a play designed to go to the outside to right. the right, but you can see Macon. Here's the block. Boom, right there. Good job by Piro coming back and peeling back and getting a good block for Macon giving him an opportunity to gain nine on that play. Second and one. There's Piro, first down, Big Red. That'll stop the clock until uh, they're able to move the sticks. Big Red's hurrying up now, trying to get uh, all their personnel on the field. The clock is now being wound by the official. Big Red with one timeout left, Marlington with two. Trips to the bottom, P. Rowe the sidecar to Macon. Macon rolling near side, hits Wiggins, and Wiggins to the 37-yard line. Another Steubenville Big Red first down. 
Okay, on, on that formation, you had Jordan Meyer, who was a uh, inside receiver, ran a flat route. And then Wiggins just went downfield, curled up in the open area. Macon was able to see him, got him the ball quickly. Macon now rolling top side under heavy pressure. And he's going to be brought down at the 39 yard line. They may have to use a timeout right here. Timeout, Big Red. A lot look. of speed at the wide receivers. Wiggins and Anthony Piro down here to the bottom. Jordan Meyer top side. And it looks like you're going to have somebody moving on the top side. Did Marlington jump Dead off ball. the ball? Encroachment on the defense, second down. That'll make it second and seven. Uh, this is going to be an unsportsmanlike penalty against Marlington, and we're, they're going to add 15 more yards onto this penalty. The player that it jumped off sides was uh, a little upset about it, and the officials heard it. Ball, unsportsmanlike defense, first down. Boy, that really hurts Marlington. That's 20 yards in Big Red's game, and they didn't ha even have to snap the ball. That'll make it first and 10 just inside the 19. Piro and Wiggins down to the bottom. Jojo Piro, your sidecar. Meyer top side. Megan looks for Meyer and it comes back the other way to Piro. Get out of bounds. And he does get out of bounds. Just inside the 12. Good job by Piro. Holly Good job by center Bacon. red zone. Bacon was looking the other way. Uh, didn't see anything open. Came back to this side to Piro, and Piro was able to take it out of bounds to stop the clock. Second and three at the 12. Trips to the top now. Hand off. Piro. They got to hurry. 42 seconds and on a running clock. Third and one. Make it, keeps it. First down, Big Red. Now they got to get up, and he's got to spike the ball. Well, they got a first down, so the clock will start, stop. But it started now. Macon looking incomplete and a great job defensively by Marlington to bat that pass away intended for Trey Wiggins. Trying to run the slant to the inside. Good job of uh, defending. Had a linebacker that got underneath that and was able to get a hand on the ball and knock it away. Here it is right here. Good job by number 44. He's the inside linebacker, Don, and that is Austin Webb. Second and goal at the six. Timeout, Marlington. A football helmet. You think they're all the same, but now newer advanced helmets have been added to high schools around the valley. But these helmets also come with a bigger price tag. Tune in Monday at 6 to see why schools are paying up for student safety. Football, helmets, a new generation. The News Line special assignment, Monday at 6. Very interesting story that uh, I know folks will want to check out. Yeah, there's been such a great um, evolution in and the construction and the design of these helmets on always trying to make them a little better for the uh, protection of the uh, the football player you know there's such a uh, emphasis being put now on concussions and 
head injuries to uh, to football players and uh, learning more about concussions now than uh, than we ever knew before. So uh, that should be a very very interesting piece, and uh, and I hope a lot of people watch it. So here's our situation. Second goal to go in the six. 19 seconds to go in the half. Big Red up 20 to six, but they have no timeouts. Anthony Piro goes topside. Double tight, Bain your wing to the bottom. He'll go in motion to the top. Macon fires, Sage Kutry incomplete. Wow. And I'll tell you, number 44, the motion man for Big Red, that was Danny Bain. Came out of that motion, was, was in the flats of the left and was wide open. It's going to bring up a third and six, 16.6 seconds left to go. So they've got two downs to negotiate this uh, six yards. Dominic Gary tight end of the bottom. Jordan Meyer split that way. He's going to go in motion to flood the top side. Macon rolls that way. Meyer's open, but he throws back to Gary. Touchdown, Big Red, but there's, there's a flag. flag. Gary, Gary, Gary. And I think they're going to get uh, Big Red for holding. See the call by the official. Block in the back, offense, repeat third down. So block in the back, that'll move them back. Take a look, well, we'll see. Big Red coming quickly right over here. We'll see where it comes from. And right there it is. All right, block was on number 21 from uh, Marlington. Back to live action, third down, and goal at the 15. Macon. Looking into the end zone, and it is overthrown. Brings well, up fourth down with four seconds left. <laughs> Got time for one more play. It's not a bad decision by Macon to throw it away. Excellent coverage by that Marlington secondary. They did a good job of having all the receivers covered. So uh, give those guys, uh, you know, some, uh, some some credit. Brandon McDonald, Austin Webb, Clayton Stave, Demonte Thomas, and Jake Krupko. Fourth and goal for Big Red. Four seconds to go in the half. Shaq Petaway now in the game as the sidecar. Bacon rolling that way. Looking into the end zone. And it's intercepted in the end zone. And that'll bring the first half to a close with Big Red leading by the count of 20 to six. Here's another look. Shaq Petaway in the flat. But uh, Dwight pulls up trying to go to uh, Jordan Meyer who was running a curl route in the, uh, in the end zone. But Good coverage again by that Marlington secondary, especially number 10, Jake Krupko. Vapor Jet scoreboard at the half. It's Big Red leading Marlington by an account of 20 to six as the teams head off into the uh, corner. The Red leading Marlington. Big Red gets the ball to start the second half. A short kick. Well, Sean Luke muffs it, and Arlington has it. Marlington has it at the Big Red 40. I tell you, he made the fair catch for the ball, which was the wise thing to do. Uh, the ball was kicked very, very high, and uh, LaShawn Luke made the fair catch. Signal. No, this thing's big. Oh, wait a minute. I need to get an explanation on this. It's it's Big Red football. We had an inadvertent whistle on the play. We're going to re kick it. <laughs> an inadvertent whistle. This doesn't make the Marlington side of the field too very happy. Inadvertent whistle. What a break for Big Red. Now it's not like a, a, 
a, a running play where the quarterback, you know, hand fake to the fullback. They think he has the ball. How do you have an inadvertent whistle on that? That's a good question, Don, and, and, and I don't know how. Because the ball, you know, went more than 10 yards. It was in, in play. He made a fair catch signal and fumbled it. Alvin Taylor at the 25. And Taylor, huge return to the 38-yard line of Arlington. WTO9 High School Football Game of the Week brought to you in part by Doan Ford, Belmont Harrison Career Center, and Capital Recovery Services Incorporated. I tell you, fans on the uh, the Marlington side are still crowing to the officials on that inadvertent whistle call. And boy, what a turn of events! You know, Marlington would have had the ball at about the 40-yard line of Big Red instead. Big Red has it at the 40-yard line of Marlington. Macon swings it out to Anthony Piro, and Piro to the 33. I wonder if we can if we play that if we can hear the whistle. On the, re on the replay. But the Big Red sideline must have heard it because they were out arguing. It's as if they heard it now. So second and four in the 33. Jojo Piro. And he stacked up a couple yards short, bring up third down. Uh, it's going to be uh, about third and one. That time it's Piro over the left side. And uh, short yardage that time. So it's going to bring up third, and uh, it's just about one yard to go, Don, maybe a little bit less than a yard. LaShawn Luke, first down, Big Red to the 25. Actually, it's more than uh, that was needed for the first down. LaShawn Luke over the left side. Good uh, surge by the left side of that offensive line for Big Red the ball on about the 26-yard uh, line of Marlington. So first and 10 for the Red at the Marlington 26. Sort of an unbalanced line now. Dominic Gary motion top side. Jojo Piro. And Piro gets to the 23 yard line. Following the block of Lucas McClurk. Let's take another look at that kickoff and take a listen. I, I could not pick up any whistle. Did you, Coach? Uh, you know, I, I'm really not sure. I thought that maybe I did hear a whistle prior to uh, to the catch being made or the it, fumble it being sound, made. It sounded like right when he was catching the ball, it sounded like there may have been. Shaq Petaway. First down. Big red. That's Petaway's first carry, I think, uh, of the ball game. And Kim comes at a very opportune time, is able to get the first down the ball uh, down at, at about the 15 yard line of Marlington. Clock continues to run. The only pass they've thrown so far on this drive was the, uh, the quick screen out here to Piro. I've got Petaway set outside of Piro down here to the left, uh, down here to the bottom. Well, Wiggins, first and 10, Macon, fires. Good coverage by Marlington. Excellent coverage by Marlington that time. Interesting note, Poland dropped Big Red for next year, and you know who picked, who they picked up? Uh-oh. -uh. Marlington. Wow. There's Petaway going right down the middle, looking for Piro, and uh, pretty good coverage, as you can see, by number 86 from uh, Marlington. That's Dakota Hoffman. Second and 10. On the 15. 
And LaShawn Luke is going to be carry. short of the 10 yard line. So Marlington and Poland next year, pulling off Big Red's schedule. Big Red wanted to continue the series, but Poland chose not to. Big Red down in the red zone, Hollywood City Center red zone. Dominic Gary uh, checks into the ball game. You'll probably see him aligned as a tight end. And he is the line to the left. Macon keeps it. Cuts in at the five, brought down from behind at the three. Short of the goal line, but he does have the first down on, so uh, Big Red will have a new set of downs at about the three yard line. Watch all the people come around here. 77 coming around. Number 50 doing a good job as uh, and as he always is in there for uh, for Big Red, that's uh, Delshawn Woods. First and goal to go at the two. Bain in motion. Touchdown, Big Red, LaShawn Luke. That was an excellent drive by Big Red that time. They didn't make any mistakes, had no penalties. Nice job, as you can see, big number 77 for Big Red. Mason Campbell really got a big key block on the linebacker and uh, was able to clear the path for number 33, LaShawn Luke, to uh, get in for the score. Piro on for the extra point. Snap, placement, kick is good. So Big Red continues offensively where they left off in the first half. Another nice touchdown drive. It's 27-6 with 8.19 to go, third quarter. And thanks a lot, Jackie. 8.19 to go, third quarter. Wintersville Trophy Shop kickoff coming at you. Nice kick by Macon down to the 10 high. DeMonte Thomas. And Thomas, nice move. He gets out to the 41 yard line. Well, flag. flag. Uh, well, Elvin Taylor's down on the field. There's a lot of pushing and shoving. I think that's gonna go on Marlington. See what the call by the referee is going to be here. No, it's actually in big red. They're going to march that off 15 yards to the big red 45. Dead ball, personal foul. Receive kicking team, first down. And we'll take a timeout. Be back. We've got 8.09 to go. Third quarter. And we are back. We look at the big red sideline. There's Trey Wiggins, JoJo P. Road, Dwight Macon. Alvin Taylor looked a little woozy as he was helped off the field. First and 10 on the 45. Hand off. And stacked up is the Marlington runner for a loss. Good job by number 85 coming in there. It's Dominic Gary, the defensive end. That's a couple of big plays that he's made right from the beginning. He's had two big tackles for loss uh, in this game. Does a good job of taking the gap and beating the, uh, the blocker to the spot. Well, they'll call it no gain. They'll bring up second and 10 at the Big Red 45. Wellington hasn't really attempted a pass here in this uh, quarter. And off first man through, and that's Hill. 
so far in this game they've thrown three passes completed two for a, for a net of two yards so uh, the rushing game hasn't been a whole lot better they rushed the ball in the first half 12 times for 59 yards so they only had 15 uh, snaps of the ball in the uh, the first half as compared to 47 for big red that a total of 61 yards in the first half to 251 for Big Red. Third and eight. He put it up and great catch. Great catch is right yard there. line. That is Jake Krupko, a 6'1 senior. I'll tell you, he went up for that coming across the middle. He knew he was going to get hit, but I'll tell you, he did a great job going up for it. And this is not really a bad pass here by, by the quarterback. Number 19, Jesse Carpenter, did a good job and a great catch. And good protection by that offensive line of Marlington as well. Hit on that, delivered by number 11, Najee Murray. First and 10, Marlington at the 25-yard line. Meyer on the blitz. And Hill, 10, wow. five, down to the three yard line. Well, Ted, that was a nice run by Hill. Uh, that handoff out of the, uh, the shotgun. Here it is right here, nice block by number one. And you can see, almost is going to be brought down here, but he breaks a couple of tackles, Murray's tackle right there. He runs through another one, and it looks like he's going to be brought down by uh, LaShawn Luke, but he fights his way down inside the five to about the four yard line. And it's Hill, not much. You know, the one guy that we're, uh, we're really expecting to do most of the damage, uh, you know, to, uh, to Big Red would be uh, Damone Thomas, their, uh, their freshman running back, but uh, Number 30 has done really a great job uh, for for uh, Marlington so far. The soft, he's only a sophomore. He leads the uh, Marlington attack with 1,130 yards on the season. And whistles everywhere. Flags, whistles, procedure will back them up. That was thrown by the head linesman. We'll see what the call is. Dead ball, encroachment, defense, second down. No, wow. Big Red. Somebody must have aligned in the neutral zone. Well, Hill is a sophomore and Thomas is a freshman and the two of them have combined for over 1,800 yards. So it's gonna be a pretty good uh, combination. And I'll tell you, you know, that quarterback that's in it right now, Don, number 19, Jesse Carpenter, he's only a sophomore as well. Carpenter hands to Hill. And Touchdown, he's Marlington. <laughs> nice try. There's a flag. Let's see what that's going to be about. Wait for the call of the referee here. Personal foul defense is going to be taken on the kickoff. Personal Driving foul. You heard the call, personal foul against Big Red. We'll see what it is, see if we can pick it up. Boy, Najee Murray had a nice stick. Now, if you can That's see right the pile right yeah. there. I tell you, good, excellent run by number 30 for Marlington. It's and Alden gonna, Hill. And they'll go for two. Carpenter snowed under. I tell you, great defense that time by Big Red. They had everything covered on the option. They had the quarterback covered, they had the dive back covered, and they had the pitch man covered. I don't know, you kick the one, you're, you're within 14. Well, Don, we've seen their kicker. Think about it. Well. I don't know. I saw him kick a field goal against Carrollton, so take a timeout. 27-12. We'll be back. Winners Old Trophy Shop kickoff, and the ball spotted at the Big Red 45. So if you're going to squib or 
try something, this is when you want to do it. This is when you want to do it, that's right. And they don't. They kick it in the end zone to pin Big Red back at the 20. But other than the drive at the end of the half with the interception in the end zone, they haven't stopped Big Red at all. No, they, ha no, they haven't. And off Piro. That time that Piro uh, said as the... <laughs> Number 25, that was Jojo Piro. Had him lined at the fullback position that time. You know, that uh, Jay Leno show lineup you were talking about. Sandra Bullock, Dolly Parton, Penelope Cruz, and Howie Mandel and Terry Bradshaw. How did they get in that lineup? That's a, yeah. <laughs> That sounds like a good week. Swing, Anthony Pirro. He's got one man. He's got to make miss, but doesn't happen. Ted, it's not a bad call. You get Anthony Pirro out there one-on-one -on -one with the defensive back. Uh, you know, you're going to get some yards, uh, which he did on first down, about five. Uh, but there's always the possibility he could break that tackle or make him miss and get a big gainer out of it. So it's really a good play call for, for Big Red. Second and five. Trey Wiggins in motion. Jojo Piro bring up third and long two. Gonna be short of the first down. Big Red not taking many chances throwing the ball downfield, Don. Uh, a lot of their plays have been uh, you know, just the real quick screens and uh, the one-on-one -on -one, uh, coverages that they have, trying to take advantage of that. So they haven't really thrown the ball downfield too much. And uh, we'll see if they uh, maybe take a chance here. Third and three, Big Red on some 38. Jojo Piro, the sidecar, making in the gun. Oh, everybody uh -huh. moving. Yep. And I think that's going to go against Big Red. Uh, they were way over the line of scrimmage and way before the snap of the ball. Dead ball offense. False start on the offense. Third down. Well, it changes the situation a little bit from a uh, third and three to a third and eight. So it will also necessitate making a change in the play call. Third and eight, Big Red on its own 33. Walk at five. Time out Big Red because if they didn't take it, it had delay of game call. We'll take a break. 27-12 your score, 2.37 to go, third quarter. Trips down to the bottom with Westlake, Meyer and Wiggins. Straight drop by Macon. He's pressured, he's gonna be ripped down in the backfield. Joe Montgomery with the sack. Okay, pretty good uh, job of covering by the Marlington secondary. They had, ev they had everybody covered. So that's a coverage sack more than anything. As you can see right here, good job by the Marlington front four, putting some heat on uh, Dwight Macon and getting him for the sack. Bring up fourth down and about 12. This will force Big Red into a punt, their first punt of the evening. Anthony Pirro on his own 15. Pretty nice punt. Good high butt. Marlington takes it. That's Jake Kruko. And he tiptoes out of bounds the 36 yard line. That's where Marlington will set up shop with 1.45 to go in the third quarter. This year, there'll be even more need for WTOB 9's Coats for Kids. Please reach deep in your pockets to help us give school-age kids a warm winter coat. 
can send in your donation to the address on the screen. Thank you, Ohio Valley, for your support. Marlington has the ball, pretty decent field position, Don, at their own 31-yard line. See what they attempt to do with it here. And off hill for a yard. Alden Hill, the leading ball carrier for Marlington this year, had the, uh, the carry on that play. Gained about two, will bring up second and eight. Haven't called DeMonte Thomas's number too much. He had a big run in the uh, first half on that set up their first touchdown. Brings up second and eight. Marlington on its own 38. Hill ran over his own guy who was in the way and uh, thrown for a loss here. Try to get it outside, no room to run. Very, very difficult to run against the Big Red defense outside because they have so much speed on the corners and at the uh, corner linebacker position. Clock under 40 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Marlington third and 11 on zone 35. There's linebackers for Big Red. You have Caleb Westlake at one uh, outside linebacker. Shaquille Petaway at the other one, and inside number 33, LaShawn Luke. Jesse Carpenter, pressure, John Elder, but they get it away incomplete for DeMonte Thomas, Shaq Petaway on the coverage. Boy, and I tell you, did he close fast on that too? He was dropping off in the coverage. It looked like he was going to come. He faked the blitz, dropped off in the coverage, and uh, really closed very, very quickly on that intended receiver where the ball fell. Incomplete. Number 67 for Big Red was the one that was putting on the heat as John Elder. Fourth and 11. There's the putt. Nice kick that time. Caleb Westlake makes two men miss, trying to get to the sideline and. Fumbles the ball, fumbles it out, out of bounds. 26 yard line. That was a fine kick that time by, by Marlington. And we are back through for Jet scoreboard. Big Red leading Marlington 27-12. And Big Red offensively really has done whatever they wanted so far tonight, Coach. Yeah, that uh, the last series that they had was their first punt of the game. And, uh, you know, we, that was just short of the uh, the end of the, the uh, third quarter. So, you know, they've got the ball back. Uh, they've pretty much dominated this game, time of possession, uh, rushing, passing, and so on. But at that, Arlington has played really hard. Second and seven. Jojo Piro. Short pickup, we'll bring up third down. Good job that time. Number five for, uh, for Marlington was in on that tackle. That's uh, David Bates. Not a very big kid, 5'6", 145, but he stepped up in there and made a good solid tackle on Jojo Piro. I would anticipate the Big Red will try to just control the ball, take as much time off the clock as they possibly can. They are facing a third and five on their own 31. Macon, Anthony Piro, first down, Big Red. I tell you, nice timing pattern. Piro comes inside, pulls up, you know, hooks up, knows how many yards he needs for the first down, goes two yards past the marker, and uh, hooks up, and, uh, and Macon, get, Macon gets him the ball on time. Boom, right here you can see before the defender can, uh, can get the coverage. I tell you, they have nice timing in their pass, pass offense. You know, not, they haven't thrown the ball deep all night, but I'll tell you, that short to intermediate passing game has really worked well for them in conjunction with their running game as well. Macon, going to air it out. Trey Wiggins wide open. Touchdown, Big Red. Well, they didn't throw it off the downfield deep, but that time they did. And I'll tell you, Macon hit him perfectly in stride. Trey Wiggins just used his speed to blow by that defender. 
and the ball was perfectly thrown. Hit him in stride. He didn't have to uh, to pull up at all. Great blocking by the offensive line game, making plenty of time to, to find Wiggins, and there it is right there. It's like dropping a penny down a wall. Here it is from the end zone. zone. And, and, and Coach, when you look back, after Macon missed, we did a game after Macon had missed a couple of games. You can see the timing was off just a bit. Uh -huh. Well, timing's on now. Yeah, it sure is. But I'll tell you, it was a great pattern by Wiggins. He uh, ran just that skinny post pattern, got by his defender, and he was gone. Hero. It's up, and it is good. Big Red on the board again. They lead it 34-12. 10.49 to go in the fourth quarter. Field. Percy Garner, Daniel Lift on that team, and uh, it was a shootout. Zach Kolaris, Mo Bogard, and that team from Big Red. That was on a, I think it was because of the uh, Ohio State-Michigan game, but th that game was played at noon on a uh, Saturday at Fawcett Stadium. But I think Ohio State-Michigan game, the game was uh, at 3.30, I believe, and why the time change for that one. Number 13 for uh, Big Red, Caleb Westlake down there, really quick to uh, make a tackle on Big Red special teams. Ball's at about the 27-yard uh, line, so that's where Marlington will take over. See if they can move the ball down uh, into Big Red's territory and eventually punch it in for a score, see and, what happens. And Dover's changed. They've, uh, Marcus Mamorella uh, is their quarterback. They run the ball predominantly now. He was their athlete of the week this week. Pass on first down is, is incomplete. There's a flag on the play that happened in front of the uh, the pass play, and I think that's going to be called on uh, on Big Red. We're going to see what it is. The ball was incomplete, thrown pretty well, however. Personal foul, defense, 15 yards, first down. Wow, I tell you, that's about the third personal foul penalty or unsportsmanlike uh, penalty uh, that's been called in this game. And uh, a couple, three of those is, have gone against Big Red. Jesse Carpenter is a uh, sophomore quarterback uh, playing uh, for their, their regular quarterback uh, who was hurt. This is Hill. Finds the edge. First down to the 41 of Big Red. Hill has some really nice speed. He can run with a little bit of power, too. He's a big kid, uh, as you can see, Don. Alden Hill is 6'1", 200. Who you can see here, he bounces it to the outside. He's able to break a tackle here and break another tackle before he's caught from behind by number 33 for Big Red, LaShawn Luke. First and 10 at the 43. Toss, top side, Thomas, and Thomas, the 20, 15, brought down at the nine yard line. But excellent blocking by the wide receiver downfield. That was Billy Arnold, number 32, to open things up for Thomas. And boy, did he put a move on uh, Big Red safety. You're gonna see it right here. That's the pitch, and that's the play he had to big, watch the move right here. And he's only a freshman. You can see Caleb Myers in uh, pursuit right here and makes the tackle at about the 10 yard line for Marlington. They put it up incomplete in the end zone. Pretty good hit down there by, uh, by Caleb Meyer and uh, the receiver is slow to get up. A little sprint out right here. Pretty nice throw. Catch, catchable ball, it would have been a great catch, but uh, you know, it was a catchable ball, and uh, too bad that he wasn't able to hold on because it would have been a touchdown for Marlington. It's gonna bring up second and goal from the nine yard line. Hand off, touchdown Marlington. Wow. That is Hill. I tell you, that boy is uh, is a really a nice running back. He's very slippery, and, and 
and runs with, like I said, pretty nice power. We're gonna take a look at it from here. Runs through one tackle, two tackles, and then he just drags a tackler into the uh, end zone. Here it is from ground level. One, two, three, four, five. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five tackles. Good job. And I think uh, Coach Sakoc is going to uh, address his tackling uh, with his team uh, in practices next week. They go for two. Pass is thrown. Oh, incomplete. Wow. And here you see with the backup quarterback in there because if it was lower, he was wide open. We'll take a wide timeout. 34-18 your score, nine and a half to play. Big Red's gonna be uh, with their good hands team uh, out on the field looking for a uh, very possible onside kick. So they've got all uh, receivers and uh, tight ends on the first line there. The line drive kick. Najee Murray with it. And Murray brought down at the 36 yard line. That's Austin Webb, uh, number 44 on the tackle. Jackie. Well, Don, I have another update for you on Alvin Taylor, the tailback who was taken out just a little while ago. I'm told he's at the ER now, but they say that's just a strictly precautionary measure. They truly think he is going to be okay. He did suffer a pretty hard hit, though. One of the other players on the team here told me he was right there when he was hit, and he said it was hard. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jackie. Dwight Macon in the gun. Anthony Pirro. Gain of about seven. But uh, how many times have they completed that pass on to Piro? It's got to be at least four times, maybe five times in this ball game. And uh, Dwight Macon does such a good job of throwing that ball out to the perimeter and then giving his uh, playmakers an opportunity to make a play. Uh, you know, that looks like a short pass, but he's thrown that ball probably 20, 22 yards, uh, you know, to those wide receivers. Second and three, Dominic Gary in motion. Jojo Piro. And yeah, it'll bring up third and a yard. Nice job that time by number five. And uh, we've called his number a few times. That's David Bates, uh, defensive back, 5'6", 145 pounds. Uh, but I don't think he's playing as a defensive back. I think he's playing as a linebacker uh, somewhere along the line. And uh, he does a nice job of flowing along the line of scrimmage and uh, being able to make some tackles uh, before they really take off for big, big games. See if they give it to the big fullback. Third and two, here's Piro, first down. <laughs> Guys are still battling in there. And uh, Big Red's able to control the ball with uh, just over eight minutes left to go in the ball game. Got a first down inside Marlington's territory now at about the 47 yard line. Swing pass to Piro, top side. And Piro's gonna get Russell down. I tell you, he really does a nice job, number 86 uh, for Marlington. That's Dakota Hoffman. Uh, they've thrown that, uh, that pass to, to Anthony Piro several times. Uh, he's been able to get six, seven, eight yard gains on it every time. Uh, you know, it looks like he's almost going to break it. But uh, number 86, Dakota Hoffman, comes up and did a nice job that time, holding that to a short gain of, of about one yard. Second and nine. Making top side, out of bounds. Didn't have much room to run. They came with the sweep into the, uh, the boundary, which is not a bad play to call because everybody's always trying to defend the, uh, the wide side of the field. And uh, Macon was able to take it into the boundary that time. Picks up about three yards. It's gonna bring up third and six at the, about the 44 yard line of Marlington. Third and six at the Marlington 44. 
Jojo Piro. And he's going to be short to the 41. Pretty good job defensively that time by Marlington. Shoes at the bottom of that pile again. It's number five. Well, I'll tell you, he's had a big game defensively for Marlington. That's David Bates. See, Big Red goes for it here. It's uh, fourth and about four at the 41 yard line of Marlington. Looks like they're going to go for it. See if they try to draw Marlington offside. Bunch to the near side. Macon throws into that bunch. Meyer can't hang on to it. Big Red's had a few drop punt passes tonight. That's the second time Big Red has gone for it on fourth down and the second time that they, they failed to uh, convert that fourth down. Meyer, usually a sure-handed receiver, uh, just wasn't able to, uh, to make the catch on that one. WVU and Louisville, college football tomorrow at noon here on WTOV9, the Mountaineers and the Cardinals. Big East college football tomorrow at noon. Louisville really struggling in the Big East this year, aren't they, Don? They are. Ever, ever since Bobby Petrino left, they've, uh, they've been struggling. First and 10 on the 41. Hand off, nice gain over the top side. That's Thomas. Monte Thomas, their freshman running back. Tell Marlington is going to have a pretty nice team in, uh, in, in, in the year to come. Uh, that's a pretty young football team. You know, Don, I was looking at their, their offensive line. Uh, they have a junior at the, at, the split end, uh, uh, at the split end. They have a senior at one, uh, well, the warrior, well, I'll get you right here. Second and five, Thomas. Got the first down, LaShawn Luke with the tackle. But on their uh, their offensive line, they've got uh, they've got you know their their right guard, and right tackle coming back. They're only a junior and a sophomore, so you know they've got some nice kids coming back along with their quarterback and their two running backs. So this should be pretty decent next year. There's going to be another penalty tacked on here. Personal foul, defense, first down. Another personal foul against Big Red. And that puts uh, Marlington in business at Big Red's 30-yard line. Right now, Marlington's uh, leading rusher is out of the game. That's Alton Hill. Jesse Carpenter steps up. He's going to keep it. And Carpenter brought down by Caleb Westlake at the 29. Also at number 49, that's uh, William House for Big Red was, uh, was in on the tackle. It's a little uh, sprint out, he doesn't see anybody open, decides to run. Good open field tackle as you can see by number 13 for Big Red, that's Caleb Westlake. Second and four at the 24. Carpenter, and off. That was Alden Hill, their leading ground gainer. No, I'm sorry. That yeah, was, that was Hill, number 30. It's gonna bring up third and about five, Don, and they're of course in uh, four down territory, so if they don't make it here on third down, I think that uh, Coach Miley will go for it on fourth. Fruko split up top along with Arnold. <clears throat> Hill and Thomas, your backs. And they put it up, man, in the end zone. Incomplete. It's going for number 32, uh, one of their wide outs, Billy Arnold. He's only a junior. And uh, Billy Arnold has uh, has pretty nice size. He's uh, six, we got him listed here, six foot at 150, but he looks bigger than that. Well, here we go, fourth and five at the uh, 25 yard line of Big Red. See what Coach Miley pulls out of his hat on this one. 
Carpenter in the gun, trips top side. And flag, get him a hold for a tackle. It's going to be Marlington. a hold uh, against Marlington. I think number 78 got his uh, uh, hands out there. It's Corey Cagle. And uh, if it is against uh, Marlington, Big Red should decline it because they'll get the ball. Holding on the offense, decline. First in. We'll take a timeout. Four minutes to play from Harding Stadium. And we're back here for Judd Scoreboard. Big Red up, 34-18. Under four minutes to go. Number of subs in now. For Big Red, Marcus Prather in at quarterback. A lot of backups, as you mentioned, Don, uh, into that uh, Big Red lineup now. And uh, we'll try to pick up their numbers as, uh, as soon as we possibly can. Some of those numbers aren't even on our program. Number 42, Blake Carroll is in at tight end, and uh, number 63, Jack Paul is in at one tackle. Ball, false start on the offense, second down. Wesley Pritchard is in at, uh, at a guard position. Number 66, Michael Camaletti is in at center. As you already mentioned, uh, Marcus Prather is in at uh, quarterback. Number 24, Lucas McClurg at one of the running back uh, positions. Number 15, uh, we don't have him on our, uh, on our roster. And off Lucky McClurg. Number 29, Sean McGee at uh, one of the running back uh, positions. Marlington is uh, going to take a timeout now. Big Red has uh, one timeout left. Marlington has two more timeouts left. So they're not willing to give up yet, even though uh, Big Red has most of its backups in the game. Hand off, off that top side. Nice open field tackle. That was number 21, Joshua Thompson. Trying to get to the outside, but good job over there defensively. And uh, they were able to hold him to a very, very short game. So it's going to bring up fourth down for Big Red. Marlington takes another timeout. They have one left. They want an opportunity to get the ball one more time. Big Red, Big Red will have to punt. So it'll be interesting to see where that game's going to be played, Don, whoever the winner of that game is. Well, let's hope it's Salem so it's closer. Granville, you would think Zanesville. Yep. Salem, though, well, who knows? They could put that out in Canton or something, but or Austin Town maybe. Been there before. Nice kick by Piro that time. It's going to roll dead down around the uh, 22, 23 yard line. Always like the games up north, like that drive by Columbiana. And those, those areas, and then finish making the playoffs this year. I actually went up in that, I went up to Shaker in the Christmas in the Woods there a couple weeks ago. Uh -huh. You know, if Marlington had, you know, a passing game gone, uh, you know, they they would be uh, such a such a much more effective, uh, you know, offensive unit, and I think they would have been much more effective against Big Red tonight. Uh, you know, they run the ball fairly well, but, uh, you know, you can see Big Red, they're putting, you know, seven, eight people in the box. They have eight people in the box right now, so, you know, they're letting them have the... Uh, Air it out, and it is incomplete. But down the line, I mean, that's, that's the matchup that folks, that folks would expect. Big Red was penalized on that last play. I think they had 12 people on the field, so uh, they were penalized 15 yards. Here's the handoff, top side. It's given to their big guy, Alden Hill. I tell you, look for this Marlington squad to be backed on. You know, they, like I said, they've got some young players. Uh, 
Number one, freshman running back, uh, DeMonte Thomas. Uh, number 30, Alden Hill, sophomore. Number 19, also a sophomore. Quarterback keeps it, flips it over to Thomas. Thomas into the end zone, 60-yard touchdown run. Boy, I'll tell you, this play has been so effective uh, for, uh, for Marlington tonight. Thomas has had three big runs on just that play. I'm surprised we, ha we haven't seen it a little bit more out of, uh, out of Marlington. So, well, we'll see what they're going to do here. And they keep it. All right. Makes it an eight-point game at 34-26. Jesse Carpenter. 34 There's nine guys on uh, this side of, uh, of the ball. Uh, they told you it didn't go 10 yards. No. Nope. Ball has to go 10 yards before uh, before it becomes a live ball, and at that time it only went about nine yards. And they're going to call they're going to call uh, Marlington for illegal touching. So the ball will be placed at about the 46 yard line. It'll be Big Red's ball. Marlington has one timeout left. Big Red has one timeout left with 106 left to go in the game. Now they're going to get into their victory formation, so Dwight Macon will be taking the knee. takes the knee and will bring him second down. And uh, I don't know whether Marlington's going to use their last timeout or not. Coach Miley is out on the field. Big Red will have to run one more play. play the ball game they don't have to run another one so this game is going to end up going big red 34 marlington 26 pretty uh pretty entertaining game yeah uh, a, a game there the big red uh, jumped out the big early lead on controlled put their subs in though later in the game so the score actually making things look uh, a lot closer than it really was but big red wins it by a 34 26 final, they move on to round two. And Ready, break. <laughs>